Hi and welcome back to another Mr Talbot Maths video and this week's problem is a quarter of a circle and we've got a rectangle. We need to work out the area of this rectangle. Now as you can see on the screen uh, there's a chord in this quarter of the circle that goes from the bottom left um, of the quarter circle to uh, one of the sides of the rectangle but it's not right at the top. Um, it, that's got a length of 8 and so we need to use that in some way to work out the area of the rectangle. Can you solve the problem? Have a go yourself and if you can put it down in the comments. Uh, watch to see my solution. Okay, I'm going to start going through the solution now so if you want to pause the video make sure you have done. Okay, now the first thing that I would do is put on, like I've done here, um, a couple more radii. Now the reason you might want to do that is because, well, Anything to do with circles, uh, your radii or radius, uh, putting, including them or putting them on your diagram can be very helpful. Now, I've put these on for a couple of reasons. Now, the first one, this one that touches uh, that eight centimetre line in the middle, the reason I put that on is because um, essentially, because of one of the circle theorems, um, a radius will bisect, if it bisects a um, chord, it will meet it at right angles. So that allows me to have two right angle triangles either side. Now the reason I put this other line on, which obviously is also a radius, is so that we've got two um, equal triangles either side of um, this central line where I had the two right angles. So this is going to be the same length as this, which is going to be R, that's going to be my radius of my circle and they've both got right angles in, and this angle is bisected, so that is going to be split equally, they're going to be equal, and these angles will then also have to be equal, because if you know there's 180 degrees in a triangle, take 90, take the same angle away, you're going to end up with the same angle being your third angle. Right, now the next thing um, I might want to do is, I might want to create another triangle over here, um, which would then ha also have a right angle in it, because at the minute this shape, including the eight and this portion of the, the top portion, that rectangle is um, a trapezium, it's not a triangle. So I'm going to include another line on here. Okay, there we go. And that also will meet at right angles. Okay, now the next thing you may want to do is to think about some of these angles. So this angle here, well that must be 90 take away this angle. Okay, so well that means that it must be the same as this angle here. So that is the same as this angle, which is the same as this angle. Uh, also we've got that because I've bisected this, that is going to be 4 centimetres, 4 centimetres. Okay. Um, Right, now the next thing we've got, I've said R is the full width here, so R is going to be the full height of that rectangle. Now what we need is some base of this triangle here, so I'm going to go with a length of, let's call it uh, W for the width. Right, now I've got that angle is the same as this one, and this triangle uh, the one that's going W and the 8 and then up a portion of this side. So it's, it's less than R, but it's, it's some amount uh, less than R. We don't know what, but that doesn't matter at the moment. Uh, we've got that angle's the same, we've got a right angle. So this angle up here must also be the same as this angle and this angle. Because again, 180 take 90, take away the same angle, must leave us with the same angles, the other triangles. Okay, now what we've got here is, which you might have noticed already, is some similar triangles. So because they've all got the same angles in them, specifically this one here and this one, um, well actually the left hand one and either of these two, uh, they're similar. And so we can use that hopefully to work out some sides. Right, so uh, we've got that if we're looking at this triangle here, and I'll try and highlight it for us, if we're looking at this one here, so that's got this smallest length as being 4 and a hypotenuse of R, okay, so 4 
um, over r has to be the same as if we now look at this larger triangle the hypotenuse would be on the bottom so that's 8 and that would be over w which is the width okay now the important thing I suppose once you're at this point to uh, realize is that we want to work out the area of the rectangle which actually is w times by r so using this equivalence because these are similar triangles what that means is and the reason i've got this is the ratio between the sides has to be the same so four divided by r for this triangle of highlighted green so that is your shortest side divided by your hypotenuse has to be the same as for the similar triangle the shortest side w divided by the hypotenuse eight now if we cross multiply here we get four times eight is equal to R times W, and RW is what we want for the area of the rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is 32 units squared. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope that you were able to at least get a, some way through this by yourself, um, and you were able to, to get somewhere. If you weren't, carry on watching, and hopefully the techniques that I'm using uh, will help with your problem solving. Uh, if you did find a different way of solving the problem, please put it down in the comments below because I, I always like seeing different ways of doing and solving problems. Okay, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here. That's where it should be, the one that you want to watch next. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.